Are you ready to stop the self-sabotage and create the life you desire? Well, in order for that to happen, you need to break free from the bad beliefs that are holding your success hostage. You need to optimize the stress by turning it into extra energy for success. And those hurtful habits? Well, we need to give that pain a purpose for progress. Welcome to Stop the Self-Sabotage and Create the Life You Desire podcast. The Doorway of No Return. dun 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 da Are you like me? I'm thinking that if you could have a soundtrack follow you around in life like they do in the movies, you would realize when you're getting ready to go into an experience that is going to potentially change your life forever. And that way you can pause and ponder and make sure it's a good idea. (laughs) Okay, so doorways of no returns. This is when we go into an experience that will forever change our life. And we have them on the progress side, but we also have them on the painful side. Think of it like this. You're standing at the top of a staircase that goes into a very dark basement. And you're peering down there and you're going, ah, okay, yeah, I need to go in and get something down there. Need to figure out where the light's at. And, um, you know, being able to take a look around and, and maybe have my flashlight with me. And someone comes up behind you, they shove you down the stairs, turn off any light that might be over the stairs, and shut the door. Freak! Okay, and now what? Well, this is exactly what happened at one point in your life. It was something that had to deal with abandonment, uh, rejection, unworthiness, invalidation. It could have been a parent's divorce. It could have been maybe the parents needed to divorce and they didn't. It could have been you discovering that you had to parent the other adults in your life as a child or maybe raise siblings. It could have been a teacher that let you down, a first crush that absolutely rejected you, Uh, going after that grade for the family legacy because you have to perform in school and then finding out you weren't talented in that area like everybody else. It does not matter what it was. What does matter is the fact that you have gotten stuck in this room, in this basement of bad beliefs. Uh, What's happened is that this chapter of your life stopped. You weren't able to get out and write the next one. It's it's like you're trapped. You're, You're in prison. And you don't know how to get out. Well, of course, if you look at any great book or movie that has held your attention, the hero never knows how to get out. Because if you could solve your own problem, you would have not gotten into trouble in the first place. Okay. So the idea is for you to discover Somebody that is not in the basement with you. I've been in my own basement, but I'm not down there with you. I'm standing outside because, see, it's actually a walkout basement. You're not trapped in the dark. And I'm knocking on the door. I'm knocking on that glass door. Hello? Try to get your attention to come over and throw open the 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 drapes the curtains the verticals the 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 boxes that are in front of the window so the light can come in okay so what is it that you need to know right now well the fatal mistake is 
that you're trying to get out of the basement without discovering what blessing it has for you. Uh, I was reading a story about um, uh, Corey Ten Boom. I don't know if you you've uh, experienced any of her writings. Uh, she was a uh, uh, in a concentration camp back in the Holocaust, and it was her and her sister. And whenever they were thrown into the barracks, her sister wanted to praise God and everything that they were experiencing all the way down to the fleas that were in the barracks with them. And Corey said she was able to follow along with a lot of what her sister wanted until it got to the fleas. And she's like, I am not thanking God for these fleas. Are you kidding me? Now, God did not inflict the fleas upon them. But we have to look at, can we have the faith that everything we've been through can actually be used for our benefit? And her sister was like, no, no, we need to be grateful for it. It wasn't until later when Corey realized that the fleas are what kept out the guards from coming in to the barracks and doing who knows what. Uh, to those young ladies, that the fleas actually protected them. The fatal flaw, the fatal mistake that we can make when we're in the basement is that we just want to get out without first going, no, I, I need to get some light down here. That's what I need because there's something here that can be used for my benefit. So, uh, for example, somebody who was raised by parents who were the child, and now the child has to become the parent. There's actually a term for it, being parentified or parentification, uh, when the child has to merge with the parent and take on the role uh, that the parent refuses to take care of. I'm not a therapist, but I tell you right now, almost every single client I have has experienced this growing up. And it's because you attract what you are, not what you want. And it's because I went through the same experience. Remember, I already said, I've been in my own basement. So, what what is the the gold in the darkness of having to always take care of others it's learning how to draw phenomenal boundaries it, it, it's discovering that you know now from personal experience merging with others and taking on their responsibilities is the last thing that you want to do. You want to create this sacred space for them to be their very best, but you do not want to become responsible for it. But if you're still stuck in your basement, then that's what you're doing is you're still merging with the darkness thinking that that's what's going to bring about the light. And it's coming from that immature viewpoint of, if I agree with what someone else's darkness needs, then maybe my pain will stop. And it's a great way for you to calm the storm, but it damages your soul because then their darkness gets inside. It's time we start looking at how do you create the containers? How do you create the boundaries? Because that's all a boundary is. It's a container for whatever it's supposed to hold. Darkness has no container, which is the reason why it will ooze out into everywhere. Light, brilliance, has a container. And it never fights with the darkness. It never says, no, you you need to be over there. Light just does what it does best, which is bring brilliance to that area. Okay. So I'm, I'm doing everything I can to show you that there is light. But 
to do that, you need to say, okay, I'm not going to fight the darkness. I'm going to allow the light in because before I leave this basement, I'm going to take the blessing that it has for me. There is something to be revealed here. And this way, that doorway of no return, that basement of bad beliefs, it, it, it has a side to it that absolutely holds your brilliance. But you've got to claim it. But before you claim it, you've got to be able to see it. If I can assist you with this, one 7791 Give me a phone call. Send me a text. Let, let's have a consult and see if I'm the right fit for you. But you can do this. I believe in you, and I believe in your brilliance.